You know, RVs, motorhomes, are not made to live in full time. And if you live in them full time, like we do, you need to take extra care. You need to look at all issues concerning maintenance and how your vehicle, uh, what condition it's in. One of the most neglected or overlooked aspects of maintenance on an RV is the chassis, the underneath. And we're gonna take a look at that today. And then a later video, we're gonna take a look at Casa de Fruta, and we, uh, one of the owners gonna give us a tour of the place. And we also are going to take a look, a detailed look inside this motorhome. It's a 2016 Fleetwood Bounder, 35K. Right now we're gonna take a look at underneath the RV and show you just some of the things that you need to be aware of and take a look at. Now, this doesn't cover everything, it's just a few things. The first thing we're gonna look at is our stabilizing jacks here. They need to be lubricated with this kind of lubricant, a dry silicone lubricant, about every two weeks or so. And, and as well, I'm gonna show you that you don't need to be paying for that expensive lubricant that is the same thing as this is. This is like seven or eight dollars a can. Some of them want as much as twenty-six dollars a can. And you don't need to be paying that high price. Anyway, let's get to it. Uh, we're going to do our stabilizing jacks right now. So what we're going to do is take this jack here. There's four of them. Stabilizing jack, and we're simply going to. Give it a couple of squirts of the silicone and rub it down. And that's really all you need to do. As well, let me show you. As well, on each jack, you have this little zerk fitting right here. See this right here? Wipe it down. Like so, get all the dirt off of it. And then give it a squirt of grease right in here. I've had I've had to replace one of these jacks before. It cost twelve hundred dollars. It's nothing to replace, it's just four bolts, and you just slip it right on there and put it right back on. It's no big deal. But it's twelve hundred dollars. And if you do what I just showed you, you will not have to replace that jack for a long time. When you bring these jacks up, when you retract them, if there's grit and dirt and junk on there, it's gonna ruin that seal. It's gonna ruin the seal right here. It'll certainly ruin it. And you'll have to take the jack off and have it rebuilt or get a new one. And I promise you, it, to rebuild one of these is a major affair. It, you gotta have all kinds of tools. You've gotta have it on a bench and you gotta have the kit. The best thing to do is just replace it, but we don't wanna do that. Now make sure you do all four of them. Make sure, make sure that you lubricate all four of them. You see that one's got grit and dirt on it. Now let's get on with taking a look under the chassis. This is an F53 chassis, Ford chassis, 2016. We're in California right now. The weather's absolutely beautiful. It's incredibly beautiful. We're gonna be here for a little bit longer. I just can't leave this weather. It can start out cloudy, then it's clear and sunny every day, very little wind. Even when it's hot, it's not that hot because you're in California. You don't have the humidity that you do like in the South where I grew up. Subscribe if you like these videos. Give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment. So you take care until next video. Oh, by the way, we got one where my RV awning stopped. It just quit the motor. I'm gonna replace the motor. It's a tubular motor. Now this is totally different than what you normally see. Uh, this motor is about this long. I'm gonna show you how to replace it. It's easy. Thank you most kindly. And you have a great day and you be sure to take care.